Acapulco, Mexico. This is Anarchast. I want to dance by water underneath the Mexican sky. Drink some margaritas by swing of blue lights. Listen to the mariachi play at midnight. Are you with me? Are you with me? Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Anarchast, your home for anarchy on the internet from Anarchapoco once again with Nathan Freeman, the chief cat herder of Anarchapoco for the third year going now in 2018. And this will be actually the fourth year of Anarchapoco. I tried to run it myself the first year, complete disaster. Nathan came up <laughs> and, and said, you got to get someone to run this. And we had lunch and now he runs it. So that's good. And it's been a lot better ever since. And uh, really looking forward to 2018. Uh, I don't know about you, but this just seems so much bigger than anything that we've done in the past, like in every way? Well, we've we've added even more, uh, like we have every year. Um, for some reason, I guess we just keep trying to take bite off more than we can chew. <laughs> That's your fault, uh, you, you keep doing I know, that. I keep coming up, well, we keep coming up with <laughs> ideas and, and people get excited about them. Um, yeah, so this year we're at the Mundo Imperial Princess Hotel, and that's actually where we're at right now. We're, this, the place where we're sitting right now is steps away from the, the venue, so you'll, you'll be able to walk out of one of the presentations, and in about 15 seconds you would be right where we're sitting right now. Uh, so it's a beautiful, beautiful venue, and we're right on the water this time, so uh, hopefully that's going to address that, that concern that a lot of people had last year. Um, and we've really extended a lot of events. So uh, prior- well, Before you go into that, let sure, me yeah. just, uh, let's talk about the uh, location because that was a big uh, thing of interest to a lot of people. Uh, and uh, <laughs> if you pass me that uh, controller, oh. <laughs> so that's our drone controller going off. Uh, there will hopefully be some drone footage <laughs> later if we can get the firmware to update. Whole other <laughs> long story. There we go. Turn this. Come on, now it won't turn off. Okay, there we go. So yeah, a lot of uh, questions about the lo location. Last year we had it at the, uh, what, what were they called, the Mundo Imperial? It's the Mundo Imperial Resort. Right, and uh, the biggest issue with that was that it wasn't on the beach. And uh, the first, uh, well the first year we were at actually Cop Copacabana Hotel, which is a pretty dodgy little hotel, but <laughs> it was good for the uh, you know 100 and so people who showed up that for the first year. And that was right on the beach. And then we moved it down the block because uh, uh, Copacabana couldn't hold us anymore for the second year to the Grand Hotel. And a lot of people loved the Grand Hotel and it was also right on the beach, but uh, they couldn't really hold us in that, uh, that top floor room that we had there any longer. So we had to look at other hotels. First one, we actually got approached by Mundo. The owner is a billionaire anarcho-capitalist who said he wanted Narcopoco at his hotels. This is also part of his uh, hotel uh, chain as well. Uh, we looked at the Mundo, we were blown away at the convention center, but a lot of people just really wanted to be on the beach. They come to Mexico in February, they just want to be on the beach. So this is actually the only hotel that can really hold us now with our size. We're expecting, it's going to be around a thousand people uh, this year. Um, and so there's a uh, grand hotel can't hold that. The only one that can hold it other than the princess is Mundo. So that's why we're here. So let's get into the conference. There's so much stuff going on. Uh, it's, uh, you know, so many things before and afterwards. Why don't you just uh, take it from there? Well, so probably the biggest thing that we've added is prior to three days prior to the conference, uh, we have our health and wellness retreat. Uh, and uh, that's going to be three days of um, daytime presentations and lectures and education and afternoon workshops. And that's going to involve everything from beachside yoga to uh, fitness training uh, to various kinds of coaching to cooking classes, uh, sp most likely specifically vegan cooking classes, although we may have some other, um, some other styles uh, of uh, diet being presented as well. Um, and just all kinds of stuff about how to live better and how to get healthy. Uh, and we, wanna, we wanted to add that to the conference because, you know, there aren't a lot of us <laughs> right now and we need to be healthier. We need to live longer. We need to, to, to be more fit uh, and we need to present to the world a, a better front um, so we don't all look like neck bearded loonies. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> and not to mention, not just physically, but even uh, mentally, uh, spiritually, oh, yeah. things like yoga. Uh, as many people out there know, just being 
you know, voluntarious, being on social media, having to interact with all these status, it's pretty stressful. And so it's things yes. like uh, morning yoga with people like Carrie Wedler and stuff like that uh, really can help as well. Right. Um, and then we'll, we'll probably do morning and sunset yoga uh, so all three of those days. And maybe that might continue over into the main part of the conference as well, if our yoga teachers are willing. Um, <clears throat> then uh, also during that period, uh, we're gonna have uh, our two snakes ceremony and our jaguar ceremony. And uh, since people keep wondering exactly what those are, we didn't wanna put this on the, we don't use the exact words on the website, but the two snakes ceremony is an extended ayahuasca ceremony. It's overnight. And the jaguar ceremony uh, is uh, DMT, and it's in the afternoon of the following day. Uh, so you can do either one or you can do both, uh, and there's a discount if you, if you do both. Is that included in the price of the wellness uh, retreat? No, that's independent of the price of the wellness okay. retreat. And how much is the wellness uh, retreat? I believe it's 195 but I don't have the price list in front of me. Okay. <laughs> and there's a lot of tickets on, the, on, yeah, on no. our site, so. And that doesn't include the ticket to Narcapulco, right? Correct, although there is a combination that you can get together. And it's a discount. Yes. Great. Um, so that's all before the conference. Oh, also uh, on, the, on the 13th and the 14th, Larkin Rose will be doing his Candles in the Dark seminar. Uh, so that'll be in the afternoons of those two days. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that. Uh, he's very excited about being able to do, bring that to an Arcapulco. Um, he had a very well attended precursor event last year. So, so that's really uh, exciting and fun. Uh, of course, we'll be doing the last day of an Arcapulco. will be Cryptopulco once again, featuring all cryptocurrencies. Um, hopefully not featuring any fist fights based on the state of Bitcoin lately. <laughs> um, <clears throat> then, uh, as well, the, let's talk a little bit about Narcopoco, the conference sure, itself. Yeah. Uh, we got a number of uh, new speakers this year, a lot of returning speakers as well. Um, uh, the one that I'm most excited about is Mark Passio, mm -hmm. uh, be coming for the very first time, just like Larkin Rose. Uh, Larkin, when I first talked to him about coming to Narcapoco, he was like, no, I, I refuse to fly the fascist skies, he told me. He refused to go through the TSA. And eventually I just convinced him uh, that you have to be a part of this. And now Larkin, he, I think he considers it a big part of his year every year just to come down here. He talks about it all the time. He loves it. And Mark Passio was very much the same way. So I ran into Mark at an End the Fed rally in Philadelphia a couple months ago and finally talked to him into coming. So excited to have him. And there'll be a number of uh, new people. We haven't even added all the speakers yet, have we? We're still in the process of doing no, that. Yeah, that's true. We're still we're, we're working on a few other people uh, still, tr still trying to convince them. Um, we are putting together a, a separate set of speakers for health and wellness so that there, there's probably not going to be much overlap between those, maybe a few people. Um, but uh, that also allows us, by the way, to um, make sure that we can stay focused on our content in the main part of the conference. Uh, one thing that we're doing differently from last year is last year we had two rooms. I'm not going to do that this year. It's there's there's one continuous line of speakers, uh, and well, I mean, we'll have breaks, of course, but um, <laughs> you you don't have to miss anyone in order to see somebody else. Yeah, and that means that it's going to be a limited amount of speakers, so we're having to choose the best of the best. So if you see someone who you think should have been a speaker and they're not. It's, it's been really hard to yes. decide who to fit in because really I think we only have about, what, 30 or 40 speaking spots, right? We have uh, 36. Yeah. yeah, and we have way more than 36 amazing speakers, so it's been tough. <laughs> yes. But like you said, we're going to throw some of them who are more into the health and spiritual, into the wellness sort of area. Of course, the cryptocurrency people will all be on the last day, which will be CryptoPoco, uh, which will be February 18th, which will be all about blockchain and cryptocurrency. So really, those three days should be quite focused on very freedom-oriented mm -hmm. topics. Um, Terry Brock will be coming back as our, as our MC again this year, so I'm very excited about that. Terry has done a smash-up job every year, uh, and so the, he's, gonna be, uh, he's gonna be great to continue having on board. Uh, of course, on the 19th is your Dollar Vigilante uh, internationalization and investment summit. Yep, so this year uh, we used to always have it before in Arcapoco and that's because I knew I'd be so exhausted by the end of it or like too hung over or whatever that I would not be able to do it. <laughs> but this year I've actually been doing all this health and wellness stuff. In fact, I might even go to the health and wellness retreat. I might even do the ayahuasca ceremony. Uh, I'm feeling like it's about time to do those sort of things again. But I've gotten myself like Good, so I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna be a total wreck at this year's conference. So we can have it at the end, and.
and that's actually perfect because some of the people, we have a very large audience at Adore Vigilante, and they're not all into freedom like we are. Like some of them are just, I want to make money, I want to, you know, invest in Bitcoin, I want to invest in gold stocks. Uh, I don't care so much about the, the anarchy part of things. So it's perfect for them. If, if they're interested in cryptocurrencies and investment, then they just have to come on February 18th for CryptoPoco. Right after the day after is the Dollar Vigilante Investment Summit. We're going to have a lot of returning speakers. Of course, Ed Bugos will be there. Uh, Juan Galt, who's been working with us at the Dollar Vigilante. Uh, we're also going to have uh, David Morgan, uh, one of the top silver investors. Bix Weir, if you're into cryptocurrencies, he's actually got a pretty big YouTube channel uh, on that. Uh, Colin Cattell of Halisade will be there and a number of other people. So that'll be a great event and that's on the 19th. Um, I our friends from uh, the Big Club Network, Joby Weeks' oh, yes. group, is also <laughs> organizing an event on the 19th. Um, so if you're into Big Club, and I, I mentioned this uh, a number of times on Anarchast with Joby Weeks, uh, Big Club's having one of their major sort of get-togethers. Uh, actually, one of their people flew out just to check out the hotel. I think they're going to have like a few hundred people at least for just Big Club, and they're going to be probably coming for a CryptoPoco as well, and then the next day have their own sort of Big Club event. So mm -hmm. if you're into that, uh, you might want to look into that. Um, then that night, uh, my wife and I will be renewing our vows on the beachside in a big open invitation uh, wedding. So all of the conference is welcome to come join us for that. Um, we decided uh, when, we, when we first got married, which is almost 15 years ago, uh, we decided not to have a big wedding event because both of us came from divorced families and we were like, well, this may not work out, so let's not <laughs> spend a whole bunch of money on it. Uh, and we always promised ourselves, you know, maybe after like 10 years, then we'll have a big ceremony. Well, we didn't get to it at 10, but we figured an Arcapulco was the best opportunity because all of our all of our friends are here. <laughs> um, so we're super excited about that. And of course, last year you couldn't do it because literally days after the event, Lisa had your latest uh, baby, <laughs> <Yes>. Ira Bell. <laughs> right. So that was not possible last year. So. Yes, I, I don't think she would have wanted to been photographed in her, <laughs> in her state too much. Um, and Although then, it was uh, actually a few days longer than expected, Dana Martin was, actually stayed around after the conference last year because she was the, uh, what do you call her? The a doula. Doula, uh, sort of help with the birth. And uh, I remember Dana was like, man, it's taken a while, but eventually, eventually <laughs> Ira Bell, Ira Bell is perfect name, Ira Bell. She didn't show up on time. But, right. <laughs> so this year you can have the uh, wedding. That's great. Um, we're also planning to have a reception. Um, the reception we'll actually charge a ticket price for because that's going to be, um, that's gonna be a concert reception. And I can't go into too much detail, but some good friends of ours who have a uh, very successful music act, uh, one of them is coming out of retirement to come perform. Uh, hopefully they're both gonna be there together, but at least one uh, will be DJing our wedding reception. Uh, and that's gonna be just a smashing event. And um, we'll, we'll find a, a venue indoors so we can go all night. Um, and that should be a whole lot of fun. That sounds amazing. Uh, we should mention too, we didn't even mention at Anarchapoco, we're going to have Backwards coming back. Yep. Uh, Jordan Page, I believe, is he? Jordan confirmed? Page. Jordan Page is coming. Yeah. Jordan Page, first time he's been to Anarchapoco. Uh, we're also going to have, of course, I'll probably be performing uh, Bitcoin all the way up, the smash hit from this year on Bitcoin <laughs> with uh, 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 the. Um, uh, Free Knots, uh, who will also be performing. Uh, we're also working on a number of other rap acts. I don't know if uh, is um, um, what's her name coming back? Sorry, there's so many names. Elias Clay. Yeah, Elias Clay. Uh, I haven't confirmed with her. Yeah, we're still um, sort of in talks with Number. Maybe Elias. Maybe Rob Hustle might be coming back. We're still talking. So it, we're probably going to make that into a fairly big concert. Maybe we might even do that in a place like Palladium or Mandera or some sort of big concert venue as well. Well, Jordan's uh, Jordan will be on a different night. Right. Um, he's because he's not really the rap style. Yeah, it's, it won't quite fit in. <laughs> um, so I think he's going to be on the Friday night, um, and that'll just be him. And, I mean, unless somebody else wants to open with, with him, but right now the plan is for just him. But he actually uh, has offered to do some, some uh, have some guest performances. So uh, I think Lauren, Lauren uh, Rumpler will be performing with him a little bit. And I think he was going to check and see if Eric July wanted to perform with him a bit. So hopefully that'll come together. That's great. And I should mention too, like there's so much to mention. That's why I was saying this is getting crazy. But this hotel is actually on the other side. It's, it's near where the last hotel was. And a lot of people like to go into town, which is the uh, Acapulco Bay. Since the last in Acapulco, they've opened up the tunnel, which drilled, it took right. them years and years to drill through that whole mountain. So now from this hotel to right to Acapulco Bay, where the Grand Hotel was, is if there's no traffic, about five minutes. Right. Uh, so really, we're very, very close now, which is great. So we're 
we're planning on having one or two sort of events. We haven't decided what yet. Maybe the concerts will be in one of the discos in the bay. Uh, maybe the night before the pre-party that we always have, maybe we'll do that in paradise. Or we don't know yet, but we're definitely planning. And when we do that, we'll probably have a number of uh, transportation options. Probably have a bunch of Anarchapoco painted buses uh, out front and, and taking you to whatever event. So this is going to be, you know, a lot of people said, oh, I wish it was in the bay. Well, really, there's going to be a lot of action stuff going on in the bay. And it'll be very easy to get there if you want to. And, and for those that didn't make it to the beach last year who were wishing it was on the bay, I can tell you that this beach is so much nicer than the bay beach. The, the sand is soft like talcum <clears throat> powder. Uh, the water's cooler. Uh, it's much cleaner. And this right is where the they Pacific. actually have uh, surfing, major surfing competitions mm -hmm. just right down the beach here. So if you're into surfing as well. Uh, but these waves aren't like massive, but they're very nice, nice waves. Whereas in the bay, it's sort of just uh, pretty choppy. Right. Uh, so two more events. Uh, Dana Martin will be doing a family event. Um, we haven't specified which days yet for sure, but it's going to be after the conference. So it'll either be on the 19th or on the 20th. She'll do a half day. And then the following day after that, she has a big excursion planned where uh, she's going to be taking the families out. And uh, so that, that'll be a very kid centric and peaceful parenting centric event. Uh, and then also on the 20th and the 21st, we'll have Mark Passio doing uh, a two day event on uh, anarchy and the occult. Uh, and so I'm pretty excited about that. That sounds That's like gonna it's going to be two days. It's going to be two days. Oh, yeah. Wow. He, he, he said, you know, if, if people will come for a second day, I definitely have well, I enough to I think a lot of people will definitely be interested in that. I'll yes. be very interested in that. His, his seminars are some of the most amazing. If you haven't seen him on YouTube, just check out most of his seminars. They're usually one or two days of amazing information. So. I think uh, Bob Podolsky is also uh, going to be doing uh, a multi-day workshop on uh, a process he calls soul bonding, um, which is sort of a, a hypnotherapy combination uh, relationship strategy um, event. So uh, we haven't planned which days that's going to happen yet, but that's definitely going to be on the agenda as well. I know Sasha Day wants to do something again, but I'm not sure what. Um, something to do with relationships, possibly. Uh, we also have Luke. You better get in touch with me. Yeah, no. Sasha, when you see this. Oh, I know. Like, <laughs> there's so many people talking to me right now. I'm like, you better talk to Nathan, but uh, Dan Dix wants to do his own thing. Luke Rodowski is definitely coming back for his Change Media right. University, which yep. I believe is the day after Narcopoco, after Cryptopoco. So uh, February 20th, I guess it would be. Or, or maybe it's before. I don't know. But anyway, we'll, we'll check the schedule. We're always check updating it. It's always being updated. Uh, and we try to send out blogs as often as we can, sort of updating you on all that kind of stuff. But yeah, there's just so much going on. Uh, I think there's even more stuff going on. Have we missed something? I know that there's something that we've missed. We, of course, we've missed something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we anyway, always miss something. <laughs> yeah. So really, uh, for people, if you if you really if you if you've been in Arcapulco before, you know what it's like. Show up early and leave late. That's the best way, if at all possible. Of course, if you got like a nine to five job and you just can't, uh, then you can't. But if at all possible, try to come a couple days before. Try to stay a few days after. There's just so many events. Last year, uh, so many after parties going on. The after parties just go on forever. Well, we should mention too that uh, someone's forked an Arcapulco. Uh, Lily Devine on Steemit uh, is uh, doing something. It's, it seems very sort of casual, very just whatever, but it, it'll be for like weeks and weeks after in our Capoco. So if, if you really wanted to stay around for weeks afterwards and you're wondering if there's going to be stuff going on, yeah, there's going to be lots of stuff going on. So. Yeah, I think she's one of the things that she's doing is a steam, a steam fest. Yeah, event. she's yeah. also forking steam fest. So if you're into steam, uh, they're going to do a little steam fest here in Acapulco because so many people that are at an Acapulco are actually on steam it is anyway. Uh, so like I said, so many events. So so uh, check. We actually have a calendar on Acapulco.com. We haven't put everything up on there yet, uh, but we're getting at the point now where we're going to start getting everything a lot more organized. We're less than three months away now. Yes. Time is flying, and uh, so but like I said, show up a little early and, and leave a little late, and you'll probably have uh, lots of things you'll want to do while you're here. Yeah, I think once again, it's going to be uh, the sort of situation where you just can't do everything. Right. <laughs> Which is on purpose, if I remember. <laughs> that is that is intentional. Nathan, Nathan said that was uh, what he wanted to do. He wanted to make it so no one could possibly do everything. The funny thing is you end up at most of the events. So I don't know how you <laughs> get through it all. but. Uh, I, uh, I go and get a massage every morning before everything gets started. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. And actually, they do have a great spa here. I've actually been to the spa. I come here all the time, actually, to the spa. Uh, it's great. Uh, so if you're into that, they have all kinds of therapies, by the way. Uh, I've gotten all kinds of, I don't even know what they are, but I try them all. <coughs> all kinds of uh, leading edge, uh, cutting edge technology therapies and all very cheap. 
Should mention too, Smile Acapulco, the dentists are gonna be around. Oh yes, yes, we have, um, in fact, those are, the, that's one of, of several um, uh, local uh, groups that will, that will be here. Um, also, we just discovered, uh, uh, my wife and I just discovered a, a few days ago, uh, a beautiful botanical garden retreat uh, with a Temescal, um, which is like a, 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 a Spanish sort of steam tent kind of environment. There's an Indian word for it. Uh, not, not an Indian word, but the word for it is like hot. Uh, it's like a steam bath or something like that. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, it's you get in this little hot little room. Yeah, it's it's very therapeutic. Yes. Um, and uh, that's that's not far down the road. It's in a, an area called Bonfield, and it's a beautiful setting with with just like all these wonderful plants and flowers and. Um, and they have a small restaurant there, uh, and it's just, a, it's just a wonderful little place, and, and I'm sure they're gonna be excursions to that. Um, and they'll probably have a presence uh, at an Acapulco. Smile Acapulco, the, the dentist, they're gonna be offering discounted rates, and they take Bitcoin. So um, I actually am going there tomorrow <laughs> with my whole family, and, uh, and they have, they're just fantastic service. Uh, and uh, they speak English and they're very polite. They specialize in pediatric dentistry too, so if you want to get your kids worked on. Um, you know. And all much cheaper than U.S. prices, oh, obviously. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> uh, maybe between one-tenth and one-twentieth of what you would pay in the U.S. Wow. And we should mention Verde Vegan will be back again. Yes, <laughs> uh, Verde Vegan will be involved So all the again. people love the Verde Vegan and the vegan food, they'll be actually inside the hotel. We actually, I don't know if we can say yet what we're trying to do, but we're trying to bring a number of things inside the hotel itself. A uh, number of even adult recreational events possibly. Uh, we'll see what happens, but they're actually open to it. That's the great thing about Mexico. We're like, can we, you know, just bring in like a strip club into the hotel? And they're like, yeah, I don't see why not. And it's like, great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to get that in the hotel because the one uh, venue that was possible for it, they've told me it's, it's far too broken down. But there is a, there's a venue that's not far from here um, that's like maybe a, a five-minute cab ride that I think we might be able to pull that off there. Uh, so we're, there'll be something. We'll, we'll, we'll engineer something. Either that or that'll be the excursions that we take the tunnel and, and go to the Bay Area for. Um, yeah. And we should mention, you know, this is a very anarchist event. Uh, it's very drug friendly. Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, if you've been to any of the Narcopocos, you've probably noticed that. And uh, those will all be especially quite the, available. Yeah, especially the last one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> be very available. You might be surprised how available uh, if you're into those sort of things. And, you know, it could be anything, whether it be marijuana or ecstasy or whatever it is, whatever you enjoy. Um, you know, very, this is why we love Acapulco. It's very free market, very open. And, uh, uh, you know, if you haven't been in an Arcafoca, you don't even know what we're talking about, but it's, it's quite, the, <laughs> quite the event. It's, it's sort of like almost like, I haven't been to Burning Man, so I can't say, but it's kind of like a mix between Burning Man and like a Freedom Conference a little bit in that respect. It's, it's, yeah, that's right. That's, it's Burning Man with less art. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I think, isn't Mirror One coming back uh, this Mere year? Mirror One is, is coming back again this year. Yeah, and if you watched all the, uh, the presentations that we've been releasing on YouTube, if you haven't signed up, definitely sign up to the Anarchapoca YouTube channel. You can see Mirror's amazing art on uh, the stage, and we're going to be doing that again. A number of other artists are coming as well, so there will be more art-related things this year. Yep. So, yeah, lots going on. The sun's going down. That's a beautiful sunset. It's too bad we can't get a picture of that <laughs> actually do you have your camera take take a picture we'll put we'll throw this up take a picture of me just so they can see that's so beautiful so here we are we're live in the shot <laughs> anyway yeah hopefully you'll see that uh, we're gonna have some drone footage but uh, we're actually running out of light but um, anyway is there anything that we didn't mention that you want to mention I think that covered everything that was on my list um, yeah. Oh, the hotel. Uh, as far as booking the hotel, uh, how much is it, and where can they go to book for it? So uh, they've. You, you have to go to our website and click on the link that's there that takes you to the hotel reservation site. That's the only way to get our correct discount code. When you do that, you will see the fully loaded price. So that includes value-added theft and <laughs> occupancy theft uh, that they're required to charge by law, and it includes some small fees that, that cover things where they, they don't want to have to tax you on it. Um, but it comes out to $109 per night, so you'll see the fully loaded price on there. Um, it's technically, our rate is $80, but you end up with $30 worth of theft on top of that. Uh, or, 
Yeah, twenty twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Wow. Edit that, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You went to government school. <laughs> But if you do actually go to the, uh, just so you know, because a lot of people do get confused about this, if you go to the Princess website and you look at rooms, all the prices that have a dollar sign in front of it, that's actually, the, the Mexican peso used the dollar sign before the US dollar used it, right. and they have not given it up. So you'll see a dollar sign and you'll see like, it's a $1,500 a night. That's 1,500 pesos. You just divide it by about 20. 20. Uh, yeah. So just, uh, you know, it'd be like $80 or whatever it is. But definitely use our booking code, because that's definitely a discount. Yes. Uh, so you go to narcopoco.com, just click on hotel at the the top and then you need to reserve through there and uh, you can reserve before the conference and after but uh, not too much after because they're having the big Mexican Open tennis right yes I think our discount rate runs through I think the 26th um, okay so lots of time after but yeah it show it shows you on there what where what the last day you you can uh, book is um, and if you and do want to stay, by the way, after for the tennis event, it is quite the event. It's all the richest people from Latin America all come to party that week. Uh, the whole hotel is just full of those sort of people because it's actually right on these grounds of the Princess Hotel is where they have the Mexican Open. So it's quite the event if you're into those sort of things. Yeah, in fact, one of the challenges that we have is that some of our meeting space is crowding up against the, the open meeting space because they come in and take over almost all the meeting space in the hotel. Oh, really? Uh, so we've been having to juggle around, <laughs> juggle our schedule around uh, when they're going to be arriving and taking over like entire floors of meeting space and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big event. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's basically it. We're out of sunlight. Uh, we are... That's basically it. Yeah, we were going to fly some drones around but we're, we're out of time. Uh, but yeah, so just check out anarchapoco.com. Go to anarchapoco.com. There's a mailing list on there. Sign up for it if you're not on there, if you want to get all the latest information. We send out at least a few blogs a week. We're going to be sending them out almost daily now as we add more and more things almost every day. Uh, so many things that we haven't even announced yet. So if you want to just uh, keep on top of that. As far as flights, I've heard about so many good uh, flights lately. I don't know if you've heard this. Someone, I was just in New York and someone had just booked a round trip ticket from New York to Acapulco, not just to Mexico City, to Acapulco through Mexico City for $350 round trip. Well, I thought that was amazing. That's, that is a good price. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> and, you know, check different dates, check different, uh, try just flying into Mexico City or flying to Acapulco. You, uh, there's not many directs to Acapulco. There's only one direct from uh, the US, that's Houston, yes. and it's not even every day. So uh, uh, try flying into Mexico City, see if that's cheaper, try Acapulco. Um, and uh, just try different things like that. You can do different sort of tricky routes. You could fly into say San Diego and then fly, there's a direct from Tijuana to Acapulco. Uh, that's quite cheap. The flight times are a little off. They're kind of like night flights, but. Uh, there's, there, well, there's not only the red eye. There, oh, are, there are other flights. Yeah, okay. I, took a, I took a mid afternoon flight okay. from Tijuana. Um, and then out three months ago. Okay, they now have the San Diego Tijuana airports basically connected with a tunnel, right? So you don't have to... Uh... I haven't personally experienced... I, they're not connected directly because oh. they're, they're far enough away from each other because, I mean, it's a, San Diego's a pretty far away from the border. Okay. Uh, but there is a bus that will take you uh, to that location uh, where, the, where you walk across in the tunnel. Okay, so a little easier than going across the regular border, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, you could rent a car and drive across the border too. It's it's pretty it's pretty simple. I, that's what I I did um, a few months ago, mm. and it's, it's so porous in Tijuana. Like you just drive, they just wave you through. I mean, it's oh, I you didn't it's even great. you barely even pause. If um, you do come from Canada, I believe there's a few directs in the winter time to Acapulco. I think there's one from Montreal, one from Toronto. Uh, and that's basically the, all the directs. So it is a little hard to get here. Uh, for that reason, we have tried to make the conference as cheap as possible because we know it's a little more expensive to get here. It's a little harder to get here. But this place is awesome. Like you couldn't really have this conference any other place after, <laughs> you know, just, yeah, it's so free here. You basically can do whatever you want. We, we just love it down here. So uh, check out anarchapoco.com. Thank you, Nathan. And uh, we'll see you in a couple months for the conference. Yep. And uh, it's gonna be uh, awesome. So check it out, anarchapoco.com. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share down below. And that's it for Anarchast, your home for anarchy on the internet. Peace, love, and anarchy. In a world where Antifa riots in the city streets, cops rage out of control, and the leader of the free world is a fat-ass casino owner, one event stands alone to make anarchy great again. I actually love humanity. That is why I'm an anarchist. Back words in the
building like we the ceiling. We healing, no matter who find it appealing. I'm here and I got a feeling that we be dealing a lot of pain with a pin of ceiling. Get drilled in your head that we are monsters and yeah, we come from the slums and for months we've been pumped. But for once, I am now comfortable. I want to grow, I want some more success and I want to know that greatness can't be rushed, can't be less. So face the bus, feel free to hate on us. We lace them up, dudes, we done paid them up. Keep snakes away from us and safe from us. You might wanna be. Remember when clowns used to make fun of me and now they wanna be me. See me and they run at me. I'm gonna be the greatest, yeah, I wanna be, but I am not the one to be the fakest for the sake of being played. I'm here, like I never left, set to hell. Nah, cause I can't just fail, so just prepare your ears, it'll get for real. Okay, from here, we will never talk to sell, it's quiet time. My mind and my thoughts, my eyes and my thoughts, my ways and my loss. When will I fall off? It's a chance for me, you are now listening to Veracity. Yeah. Fuck the media, fuck the banks, fuck drone strikes, fuck tanks. Fuck hunger, fuck war, fuck ignoring of the poor, fuck the left, fuck the right, fuck the government. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.